Our contribution to the sustainability of London 2012 is in both physical things that, we've, that we will leave behind after the Games, and that will include uh, relighting Tower Bridge, uh, the installation of 120 new uh, electric vehicle charging points, as well as uh, leaving behind a, uh, a, a big piece of behavioural change uh, through our schools programme, the POD, uh, where, we've, where we've recruited 15,000 schools and reached 6 million school children to engage them in the whole subject of the sustainable use of energy and water um, and put that on top of a million people who have signed up to our Team Green Britain campaign and the biggest contribution I think we have made overall will be in sensitising people to the need to, to do something because collectively if we all do a little bit it will make a big difference. The best way for businesses to reduce their energy costs and indeed for all of us at home to reduce our energy costs is to use less energy uh, and actually by making some positive choices in our technology, in the way that we act and behave, the choices of where our food comes from, we can all collectively make a difference and that's the cheapest and most cost effective way to reduce our bills and improve our, our energy efficiency. Over and above that, um, we're offering and we're demonstrating through the games um, the value of electric vehicles, of uh, software that can help you focus in on where your, where your business uses the most energy um, and all of these things taken together can allow you to have a much better visibility and way to manage your energy to reduce the costs. For London 2012 the, the organising committee wants to use 200 electric vehicles as part of their official games time fleet. To support that uh, we're working with Transport for London, with GE and BMW uh, together to install 120 new electric vehicle charging points in a range of venues around London and those will stay in legacy and will then become part of the Source London network, uh, meaning that for people who, who are buying electric cars to use in the city, um, they'll have more places to charge them up. EDF Energy in the UK is the largest uh, producer of low carbon electricity in the United Kingdom and the thing that the Games gives us is the opportunity to use this platform to communicate with people that the electricity that is produced in particular by nuclear power stations but also by renewable assets is low carbon. So for every unit of electricity that's used by the Games Organising Committee uh, we will produce a unit from one of our low carbon sources and the point of that uh, is that it will, it will give us a basis to encourage customers to differentiate where their electricity comes from. And of course in the long run, if customers demand more low carbon electricity, it will drive investment choices and ultimately will help the UK to meet its carbon emissions targets in the future.